Hello. How you doing? First, first off, let me ask how are or how are y'all doing? Doing great. Excellent. Everybody good? Yeah. Good. Yeah, we talked to Joe Walt the other day. The difference in culture is a person. Come on, I'm tall. I'm the tallest person on the team. <laughs> I just I'm kneeling right now. <laughs> Uh, uh, Jesus, Jesus, I, I prayed for a decision, and he gave me a decision, and this was the, the place that he told me to come to, you know, and I think it's a great staff. Um, I think the talent on his team is really good, too, and I think that I can come in here and make a big difference, you know, and we can win a lot of football games, you know, so that was my, that was part of my decision. Your Achilles coming back to that, how tough was that? I'm 100% now, and it was like a walk in a park. It was like a sprained ankle, you know. It, it was very easy, you know, because I had the knee. The knee was pretty hard, you know, and um, the, the Achilles was, I, I would say it's easy, you know, just because that's just my mentality. And it was it was pretty easy to me, but, you know, I've had these injuries, and it's been storm like the past two years, you know, having – have like good, great games. The next thing you know, ugh, hurt. And then you know, so got got the injury prone out there, you know. But I think the storm is over with, you know, you know. And I think I'm I'm gonna gonna take off now, you know. And there will be no setbacks, and the injury prone thing will be gone out of the window again. Yep. I am I'm excited, you know. Um, he does a lot of great things, and um, he's a great person, and we have a great relationship. It's gonna be it's gonna be a fun year. We're gonna have a lot of fun. We're gonna do a lot of great things. So I can't wait. Jk, what the injuries you've had? Is that you just bad luck? Is, is, that, is there anything you can attribute to beyond just misfortune? Yeah, it's just unfortunate, you know. Um, but God has a plan always, you know. Um, I don't know what the plan exactly is, you know. I don't know. But whatever plan it is, it, it's for me to be here. You know, um, I had a great rookie year. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't really have the volume as other people in my rookie year, but I still had a great rookie year. Six yards of carry, you know, things like that. I think it was like nine touchdowns, 10, including the playoffs. And so there's always been like, all right, God lets me show my talent, shine a little bit. Like, even when I had the knee, so I had the knee, right? A lot of people don't know, like, I didn't get hurt again whenever I got, you know, got cleaned up. So I, I went down in 21, right? Had the, the injury, the knee injury. And then um, came back later the next year, and I, and I played the first few games, and I, it just feel, there was a lot of scar tissue in there. So I had to get it cleaned up. I didn't get hurt again. I could have played the whole year, but I got it cleaned up so I can feel like me. And um, so after I got that cleaned up, I, the first two games back from the injury I had, over 120 yards rushing, right? And then went on, had great, great ending of the year. You know, 100 total yards in the playoff game. We lost, which I hate the most. The stats don't matter to me, I want to win. But then come back the next year, hurt again. Like, torn Achilles. So two really unfortunate injuries, but that's just God's plan. You know, and um, I think that the storm is now over, you know, and I do think that I'll be able to shine my light to the whole world. Are you concerned that the you have that label of guy who can't stay on the field? I could care less, cause I I do I do I know that's out there, um, cause as as it should be, it should be. I got hurt two major injuries back or not back to back years, but you know, so I haven't been on the field as much as I should. That's true. That is true. But it's not like I'm having these little little dinky injuries and sitting out. It's something I can't control, literally. So. That's why I'm not bothered by it. Like, yeah, I am injury prone. You could say that, you know, but I do think that the Chargers are getting a guy that's going to be healthy from now on, you know, God willing, and it's going to be great. And I do think that it's going to be, it's going to be a great however many years here. You mentioned when, when you've been on the field, you've been highly productive, yeah. 5.8 yards per carry average for, for your career. Like, knowing that when you're out there, you're very productive, how much confidence does that give you that really all you need is – all the confidence in the world, you know, the way I work. I wouldn't say just from the numbers, 
but just the way I work, my work ethic, you know, and I'm, my relationship with Jesus is like I have the most confidence when I step out there because I do know like if he grants me the health, it's over with. It's, I don't think I'll be, you know, I think it'll be a great year or whatever, couple of years, however many years he grants me great health, you know, and I think just the work ethic, my prayer and all that stuff, that's what helped me have that confidence. With the numbers will be there, and they, they might be higher after this year. You know what I'm saying? And it's crazy to think about because I, I had six point yards or six yards per carry. You know, so we'll see. You looking forward to running behind this line that they put together? Oh yeah. You know Bradley. Yeah, yeah. I play with Bradley. I play with him. You know, I know Slater. I know all the I know all the guys. You know, and I'm I'm excited. I think it's like I said earlier. It's a talented group. You know, we just got to put it together, win some games, because that's what I came here for. Oh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say a part of the recruitment, but like whenever I decided I was going to sign, it was great to have him in the room. What's your guys' relationship like? Yeah, we're great. We're we have a great relationship. That's he's like my brother. So. I think they complement each other very well. You know, um, he can do a lot of stuff too. You know, a guy like a lot of people think he's just power, 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 but I think he has some other parts to his game too, which it it'll be great because. I feel like I can do everything, and when one gets tired, we we can roll it in. We keep rolling, win some games. When you the two of you get going, how do you think this is gonna look, or what what, like what will be that partnership kind of back there? I know, that's a hard question. Um, how do I think? It, I think it'll look beautiful. You know, um, a lot of people call this a passing league, but I think you gotta run the ball to win a Super Bowl. You know, if you look at the 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 teams who win the Super Bowl, they can run the ball, they can control the clock. And so if we're both good, it'll look great, beautiful. How would you describe the Greg Roman offense? Uh, I, would, I would describe it as, you know, um, a great offense. Um, I think he, he gives the quarter, he's gonna give the quarterback a lot of options. He's gonna give the running back a lot of options. He's gonna give the receiver a lot of options, you know, and I think, it'll be, I think it's gonna be great. His offense is gonna be amazing. And when we talked to him, you know, I was like, why have you been able to build so many good Russian offenses you know, throughout your career, pretty much everywhere you've been? And you said that one part of it is just you got to call the plays. You got to call run plays. As a running back, you know, how much confidence, how much excitement does it give you when you know you have a play caller that's going to stick with it and allow you and the offensive line to get into a rhythm with running? It gives me a lot of excitement. You know, um, it's going to be, like I say, it's fun to play in his offense. You know, um, and I think he does have some good things in the pass game too. But like you said, he sticks with the run, and that's that's the identity. You you want an offense that has an identity, right? You don't want to be looking everywhere else to find your your identity. You want you want to have it. And so I think his offense has that. And the guys he builds and puts in there, it it complements that identity. So I think it's going to be great. You mentioned you're 100 percent now, so you'll be full go for, for training camp. That's your expectation. Look, I ain't going to answer any of the four. If it's up to me, yes. Yeah, look, because I had this problem like three, two years, three years ago. I'm thinking I'm full go. I think I'm ready to go. And the next thing you know, I'm on PUP. Like, <laughs> hey, look, some stuff above my pay grade. So, but I don't know. I, hopefully, I can start. I think I'm ready to start, you know, um, at the beginning of training camp. But that's not up to me, as I've learned. Tell you how you're feeling. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. I think I've been I've been in some great organizations, and I think this this organization is a great organization, and the training staff is great, and so they just want what's best for, for me, you know, and they're they're taking care of me, which that's what you want in an organization, and so that's where that comes from, which I appreciate it. Like I really appreciate that, you know, because I'm a type of guy like I work really hard, so maybe sometime I'm blind to you know, the danger of something, you know? So I, I appreciate it, but like I said, if it's up to me, yeah, I'm out there. But you never know. Yeah. Well, any frustration for you during the heading into free agency, you know, dealing with, with rehab and not, you know, having like a full season of tape or, or production to go out there? Was there any part of that where you were like, God, I wish I, you know, had hit the open market with, with a different situation, you know? Nah, I like it. I like, um, how would I say this? Um, I like it the hard way, 
but not you know I like it the hard way. I like it. Um, I like trials and tribulations. Yeah. <laughs> so um, I mean, the the dice that I was given to roll was I was coming off a of or Achilles, and um, that was that was the Lord's plan. So it was beauty in that. Like I was comfortable. I was con- like there was multiple teams. You know, I wasn't. It wasn't like I didn't have any other team. But I was comfortable in sitting back and just enjoying the process, letting myself get fully healed. So whenever that team, whoever I would sign with, who now is the Chargers, is going to get the best me. You know, and I think people all around the league know that. Like, okay, this guy, okay, is a high risk, high reward type thing, right? Not even a high risk, a low risk because you, it's a business, right? So I got hurt last year. So not as much money needs to be thrown in there. But I think everyone around the league knows that whenever I am on the field, the numbers don't lie. And so they know that. And a lot of teams were like, all right, here, you can, we give you this, but we want you to be healthy. So when I'm healthy, it's going to be great. This, the, the, the chance that I've been given here, I'm so grateful, and I know that's going to be, they won't be, they won't regret it. Are you the type of person that likes to prove people wrong? Like you've thrown out a couple of things like, you know, High risk, high reward, injury prone. You know, like, are you the type of person that that really tries to to prove people wrong? No. Uh, I I hear it. Yeah. I see it. It's pretty cool. Like, you'll never see me unless I'm just like in a bad mood. You never see me like, oh, like if I have a great game or a great year. Like, I have this wonderful year. I ain't gonna go back and be like, be like, hey, like, yeah, what happened? No, because I don't care. Like, you'll eventually see. Like, I'm. Like, I'm, I'm a guy that's really good. So I ain't worried about that. But I'm proving myself right that I am one of the best in the league, right? So forget all the naysayers and people that talk about me being injury prone because whenever I have this great year, it's going to be forgotten, you know? So why, why give that energy? Have you uh, talked to Justin at all or, or got a chance to meet him at all yet? Yeah, I was, you know, we just with him. You know, he's... He's a great guy. I mean, he was in my class. I remember seeing him. Um, we were at an award show because I, w- I was a Dolk Walker finalist, and I'm like, I've seen him play, but I didn't know he was that tall. Like, I didn't know he was like six six. So when I first saw him, this was years ago in college, and I'm like, damn, this dude is pretty tall. Like, he's cool though. Like, I like I never really got to. I ain't gonna lie, I thought he was gonna be kind of you know, you know, nerdy, dirt, but he's he's a cool dude. Very laid back. <laughs> No offense to him, you know. <laughs>